The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Residents of Iberia Parish met for a public hearing to discuss permitting to dredge Lake Pinure for natural gas storage. But some are reluctant to allow for permitting after the Assumption Parish sinkhole disaster, recent unusual occurrences in Lake Pinure, and let's not forget the 1980 salt mine drilling disaster under the lake, which started a chain of events that turned the deep freshwater lake into a saltwater lake with a deep hole. News 10's Darren Robert was at the hearing. He joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Darren. Thanks, Darla. Bubbles forming on the top of Lake Pinor are the usual occurrences that Darla was just talking about, which have residents on Lake Pinor talking about the underwater natural gas ca caverns that are looking to be built there. And so they are a little bit paranoid not to pull the trigger just so quick and make mistakes of the past. Weird and unexplainable bubbling water is no new phenomena in Lake Pinure. Yes, something I've seen many times before in basically the same spot. Most of the time, residents just comment about it and brush it off. But the bubbling on Wednesday morning was different. It was quite active, uh, bubbling up quite a bit. But it was ironic it happened on the same day we're having this, this uh, hearing for the permit, you know, for the, the new caverns. Ironic indeed. Wednesday night, residents of Iberia Parish were holding a public hearing for permitting of dredging for natural gas salt dome caverns in Lake Pinor. Everything brought will be reviewed and considered to see if there is a link to a possible adverse environmental imp or adverse impact to the coastal wetlands dealing with the activity that the company wants to move forward with. Lakeside residents like Dina Boudreau are worrying that the salt dome storage cavern collapse in Assumption Parish could happen in Lake Pinor or there could be dying fish and wildlife in Lake Pinor, which residents were noticing after two already existing salt dome caverns were built in the lake. The fish, the people, you know, the, the wildlife. Patrick Courage of the Louisiana Department of Natural Resources says there has been no connection made between the salt dome caverns and the bubbles. Those concerns of any activity out there, they're certainly understandable. But Boudreaux says after the mega disaster of 1980 where a swirling vortex caused by oil exploration began wiping out 65 acres of land and draining all the water from the lake, people are understandably cautious about drilling in the lake bed. Would you not be afraid of another whirlpool if you saw this stuff as much as we have? Again, Darla, tonight's meeting was just to talk about the dredging for the salt dome, dome caverns, not the actual salt dome caverns, it was just the dredging to them. The next meeting will actually be the really important one. It'll actually be about the caverns in the lake. So if you didn't make tonight's meeting, make the next one. It's the real deal. Live in the newsroom, I'm Darren Robert. If there's a blue pill and a red pill, and the blue pill is half the price of the red pill and works just as well, why not pay half price?